Hello, everybody, and welcome back. This is Excel Video 308. I'm Nate Moore. I was helping a group do pivot tables to do uh, physician compensation a few minutes ago. When you're ready to really look at productivity in your practice and want to use pivot tables to do it, I'd love to help you. I've switched things around a little bit since our last Excel video. I moved location over here, and the reason I did is because I wanted to show you this last show values as index. And index is kind of uh, screwy calculations, a little bit complicated. Let me see if I can explain what Microsoft's trying to do here. This formula is up here in this blue box. What we're going to do is we're going to take the value in this cell, so we're going to pick on tunnels here. So the tunnels location in 2009, $226,000. And so we take that value times the overall grand total, the grand total of the rows and the columns. In our example over here, it's this 46 million number that's kind of going off the screen. We're going to take that quantity and divide it by the total of that row, 541, 2,000, times the total of the column, the 15.4 million number. And what we're trying to do is figure out a relative importance. The closer it is to 1, the less relatively significant it is. So see how tunnels is the biggest number in this column. And if you look, 1.25, and you know what we're going to do? We're going to turn this off. If this pivot table field list gets to be in your way, you can either exit here, or you can come over and turn it off here, and you just get a little bit more room to play. 226,000, 164, 153. So the 226 as a percentage of the 541, it's pretty important to tunnels to have 2009 in the group, because tunnels 2009 is such a big component of the overall tunnels total of 541. Tunnels is also relatively more important to this 15 million because it's contributing 226,000 of the 15 million. As compared to over here, in 2011, tunnels only contributes 150,000 of the 15.3 million. As a result, this index calculation, the value in this cell, the 226, times the overall 46 million divided by the 541,000 times the 15.4 million, it's relatively more important in 2009 to have tunnels part of the total. The lowest number is also over here for tunnels. It's in 2011. And it's relatively less important to both 2011, because it's 0.84 as compared to all these other numbers. It's also tunnels in 2011 is also relatively less important to tunnels, because the tunnels location is 226, 164. Oops, that's a double click. We can delete that. 226, 164, 150 is relatively less important to tunnels across the three years in 2011, just like tunnels is relatively less important across all the locations in 2011. So that index value is lower. What it's a way to do is to try to look at the relative importance of a given combination, 2009 tunnels, 2011 tunnels, uh, compared to the overall total. Again, stuff that's close to one, like this and this and this, is not nearly as important to the overall total as stuff that's further away from one. And you can see that one final trick if I come here and turn the field list back on. If I move years out of the way, they're all equally important. There's nothing above or beyond this total because there's only one year to compare it against or one overall total to compare it against. Truth in advertising, I don't use index a ton. To me, it's, it's kind of a difficult calculation to explain to the docs and the clinics I work with. I typically use the other ones, but I wanted you to see it because it was in the menu and you, it may be helpful for you. We have been through this show values as. We've done all kinds of different calculations here. And notice when you're done, you can do no calculation like you would here and turn it off. That's show values as, but we still have summarized values by. That I, there are a few things I wanted to show you here. And the real thing I want to show you next is calculations in pivot tables. So we'll play a little bit with that. We'll do it next time. Thanks for watching.